Hello friends. In this lesson, we are going to learn what is the role of compounding factor in compound interest. How fast is the compounding factor playing? So remember, how is compound interest calculated? We learned this formula amount is equal to principal into 1 plus rate of interest by 100 whole bracket time, the duration. Let's take the most common case where compound interest with rate compounded annually. That is, say principal is given 10,000 rupees and the rate of interest is 10% per annum and it will be always written compounded annually or sometimes it's not written, you assume it is compounded annually, but always cross check. The most common is compounded annually. What does this mean? It means what we learned in compound interest is that when exactly the interest is getting added. So the compounded annually means after one year, the interest is getting added to the principal for the second year. After second year's interest is getting added to the principal for the third year. Compounded annually means we are going to add the interest to the next principal after a year. And this is the rate of interest for one year to calculate the simple interest. Let's say the time for the lo loan or deposit is five years. Let's try to calculate interest for each year using the correct principle. Correct principle means because the principle in case of compound interest is getting increased every year. So for the first year, the principle is same as your original principle, which is 10,000. Rate of interest is 10% into 1 by 100. Compounded annually means what you earn in 1,000 1, rupees or the simple interest for that one are at the end of first year will be added to the year 2. So at the start of year 2, because the compounding was done annually, at the year end of year 2, the principle of previous year, which was 10,000 plus the interest for that entire year, previous year was 1000 rupees gets added. So 11,000 becomes the principal for second year. Rate of interest remains same 10. One year we calculate again. The simple interest for the second year would be 1100 rupees. Third year, the previous principal was 11,000 rupees and what you earn in second year as a simple interest is 1100 rupees. So 11,000 plus 1100 becomes 12,100 as a principal for the third year into same rate of interest, same one year you calculate. Third year simple interest comes out to be 1,210 rupees and so on. So when it is compounded annually means you use that value for the next year and so on. And what we've seen is 1,000 goes for the second year because it was compounded annually. So the principal for second year becomes 11,000 11, and interest for the second year using that formula previously we saw 1100 rupees and so on. At the end of second year, this interest gets added for the third year. So this is the new principal and this is the new interest earned for the entire third year. And at, at, at the start of fourth year, this principal of the previous year gets added to the principal of previous year and you arrive at the new principal and then you calculate the interest for the fourth year and so on. So the total interest earned was 6,105 when compounded annually. And using the formula, we can do the same thing. Principal into one plus rate by 100 by time. You put the values 10 by 10 is the rate of interest, five is the years compounded annually. So this is year compounded yearly means annually means yearly. So this is years, this is also years, so no problem. And you can find out 10,000 into 1.15 times. 1 plus 0.1 is 5 times. 1.1 value is 16,105 is the amount. And interest is amount minus principal, which is 6,105. This is what we have learned in our last lesson. Only thing is we added a term called compounded yearly, which means the interest is added to the principal at the end of the year. Right? What if the duration of compounding is six months instead of a year? What does it mean? It means every six months the interest is getting added to the principal for the calculation of simple interest for next six months. So instead of one year, at six months you calculate the interest and then you add it the seven month you add that interest to the principal. Right? 
So that is you are doing on a half yearly basis. Six months is a half yearly basis. What is that you are going to see now? Same thing, 10% per annum compounded half yearly or every six months. Time is same, five years. Let's see what happens. For first month, the simple interest is 10,000 into 10 into 1 by 2. Why? Because we are now calculating for every six months what is the simple interest. So 1 by 2 of a year is six months, right? 12 by, six, 12 by 2 is six months. So you get 500 rupees as the interest for six months. At the seventh month, you are, what you are going to do, you are going to add the principal which was 10,000 rupees with the interest for the first six months which was 500. So 10,000 plus 500 becomes the principal for the seventh month. Same thing you do 10 into 1 by 2. Why 1 by 2? Because you are calculating now simple interest for every six months. Half year into 100. This becomes 10,500 into 5 by 100 which comes out to be 525. At the start of 13th month, which is basically the start of second year, your thing will become 10,500 plus 525. And again, you calculate for six more months. And you get this interest. And so on. Now, what has happened in this case? Instead of on yearly basis, you are doing compounding every six months or on a half yearly basis. You are earning some interest and you get you add it to the principal at the end of six month. So at the start of seventh month, you add that same thing you do at the end of 12th month. That is at the start of 13th month or the second year, you add that principal and so on. Observe carefully and compare it with the earlier table where the compounding was done annually. At the end of first year, you are earning if you are making a deposit, you are earning 1000 rupees as the interest. Here, because the compounding is done faster, you are earning 1025 rupees as the interest. At the end of second year, which is basically the start of third year, in previous case when the compounding was done annually, you are earning, if you are making a deposit, you are earning 1100 rupees. But if you add these two, the interest of entire interest, it becomes more than 1100 rupees. So what is happening is because you are compounding faster, you are using the principal with the more interest faster way. Hence, your interest is increasing. So this is very, very important children. Don't just look at rate of interest, but also in case of compound interest, find out how fast the compounding is happening. The faster the compounding, the more the rate of, more the value of compound interest is going to be. Which is great if you are making deposit. But if you are taking a loan, somebody says take loan for 10% per annum compounded yearly and 10% per annum compounded half yearly or compounded quarterly. Rate of interest remains the same, but compounded half yearly will, you need to pay more in the loan compared to 10% compounded yearly. So observe very carefully children, 10% per annum and how fast the, the effect of compounding is happening. The faster the duration, the, the higher the interest would be, which is great in case of deposit, which is not so great in case of taking a loan. So the value, how do we calculate if 10% per annum compounded half yearly? Principal into 1 plus rate by 100 into time. Calculate time and rate in terms of half yearly intervals. What does it mean? 10% per annum becomes, because you are calculating for half year, it becomes 5%. Remember 1 by 2 which I used? Because you are calculating only for 6 months. So for 6 months it is 5%. And the time also calculate in half yearly duration. So 5 years is nothing but 5 into 2 half years, which is 10 half years. Ensure rate and time is same in this formula. If it is compounded yearly, no problem, 10%, 5 years. If it's compounded half yearly, make the rate as half because you are calculating for 6, six months duration and double the time because you are calculating for not years but your half years. So 5 years becomes 10 half years, 5 into 2 half years. 
so the formula becomes rate is 5% per half year time is 10 half years which is 5 full years right and you just put it 5 by 100 not 10 by 100 because you are calculating for 6 months half years and not for 5 years you are calculating it for 10 half years ensure these two are same unit and then you are going to get 1 plus 5 by 100 is 0 0.05 to the power 10 which is 1.05 to the power 10 which is 16288 and this is more than what you got when compounded yearly so 16288 is more is the amount which means the compound interest is 6288 so in a nutshell if you are compounding on a yearly basis, your formula is amount is equal to principal into rate by 100. Assuming rate of interest in time is given in yearly basis. If you are compounding in half yearly basis, you divide the rate by 2 and multiply by the time by 2 because you are doing everything in half yearly basis. If you are doing it in quarterly basis, you divide it by 4 because one year has 4 quarters. 3 months, quarter is 3 months. So rate by 4 whole bracket time into 4 right rate by 4 into time into 4 in nutshell compound interest case principal is added with interest for the previous duration and this duration is important is it compounded annually means principal is added at the end of the year if it is compounding half yearly then principal is added to the interest every 6 months if it is compounded quarterly, then principal is added to interest every three months and so on. Formula remains the same. Ensure rate and time are of same unit. If it is compounding half yearly, you do rate. If it's given in yearly basis, you do rate by two so that you calculate it in half year. And time, if it's given in years, you make it in half years. Five years became ten years. Four years will become eight half years and so on right so you ensure your rate of interest and time are in the same unit and the faster the period of compounding compared to yearly basis half yearly basis interest will be more compared to half yearly basis quarterly basis if the compounding is done interest will be more compared to quarterly basis if the compounding is done on a monthly basis the interest will be more compared to monthly basis if the compounding is is done on a daily basis interest will be more so be very cautious if you are taking a loan when find out what is the compounding duration is it yearly basis or not and take care of rate of interest when you are taking loan rate of interest should be lower when you are making deposit rate of interest should be higher so that you earn more money and if you are taking loan rate of interest should be lower so that you take you pay lesser money and ensure the period of compounding if you are taking a deposit if you are taking a loan your period of compounding should be larger yearly basis for them. and if you are depositing money see if you can get period of compounding faster that's all in this lesson children bye bye have fun solve more problems and you should learn this concept very nicely because you are going to use it throughout your life. Bye-bye.